Hi, my name is Ron Meyer. I'm Professor of Strategic Leadership here at TS School for Business and Society. Uh, welcome to Meyer's Management Models, Insightful Tools to Kickstart Your Thinking. And the insightful tool this time is the Revenue Model Framework. Now, the whole question we would like to address is, what are the different ways my organization can generate income? There's actually a standard way that we generally think about generating income, which is, I have a, a product or a service, and I'm going to sell it to my customers, and they're going to pay me with money. But there's actually different ways in which you can generate income. So let's go to the model to think through some innovative ways in which we can generate revenue streams. Now, there's five parts to this framework, and it starts with the whole question of who is actually the person doing the paying. Is it always the client? Well, very often it is, but this is something that we can play around with. Maybe we can find an advertiser who's willing to pay, but we can think maybe of a sponsor or an insurance company, or is there anybody else that who could actually do the paying? So this is one of the dimensions along which we can vary uh, our revenue model. Let's go to the second category. That's the whole category of what is paid. Is it always money that's being paid? Well, very often it's much more interesting to get paid in data. Or maybe to get paid by having the customer perform certain activities. Or, or maybe we want to get paid in terms of shares. Again, these are only three examples. There's more possibilities, but it is good to think through whether it's always money is the most valuable thing to ask. The third question is, what is it that's actually being paid for? Are they paying for the product or the service itself, which you're receiving? Or are you being paid per use? Maybe you're being paid for a final result. Maybe you're paying for certain add-ons that are provided later on. Again, think through whether it's always the product or the service that you want to get paid for. The fourth question is, how is the payment actually taking place? Is it always directly? Or maybe the product or service is being leased. Um, maybe you're getting it on credit. Um, maybe we want to go for a subscription. Um, again, so something that we want to play around with, it doesn't always have to be paid in cash. And the fifth question is, how much is being paid? Is it always a fixed amount? We could think maybe of uh, having an auction. Uh, or maybe we should give volume discounts. Or maybe we can go for dynamic pricing in which the price is dependent on the time of year, the time of day, or how many customers are actually waiting to get the product or service. Well, five different dimensions along which to think about your revenue model. So what are the takeaways from this revenue model framework? Well, first, realize how strong the default revenue model is that you have in your mind and challenge it. Use these five dimensions to challenge your own default model. For each one of these five dimensions, I've given you three examples, but there's more potential uh, opportunities. Take a look at different ones. And so, uh, there's not only one revenue stream that you might be interested in. Try to organize various revenue streams at the same time. And finally, realize that a business model is made up of various parts and the revenue model part is an integral section of that business model. So it's very, very important to also challenge the revenue model itself. Well, hopefully a useful tool. I hope to see you again next month.